Hey, Jackie boy, why does Daddy love Mummy so much? Because she got a great ass! And you got your head all the way up it! Hello, Jack. Hello, everyone. 1995's Heat was one of our first suggestions and one I wholeheartedly agree with. Written, produced and directed by Michael Mann, this crime film is loosely based on a Chicago police officer's real-life pursuit of a criminal in the 60s. Robert De Niro plays Neil McCauley, a professional thief, while Al Pacino plays Lieutenant Vincent Hanna, an LAPD detective chasing down McCauley and his crew. Come here, give me back my biscuit, you thief. Come here. Give me back my biscuit, you little thief. I got you, I got you, I got you. I got you. Pacino and De Niro are both great actors, well known in the crime and thriller genres. And though they had both starred in The Godfather Part 2, they had no scenes together. So with these two stars meeting for the first time in Heat, we knew there were going to be fireworks. And the film was heavily publicised for featuring their first on-screen scene together. Now, for the first time, America's two most electrifying actors collide. The directing and cinematography is top-notch with Michael Mann on the top of his game. There are some interesting locations and some brilliant action sequences, which sometimes have quick cuts, but at no point do, are we confused as to who's who and what's going on. The plot of the film is very much a cops and robbers story, but with the comradeship and professionalism of Macaulay's crew, it's still an interesting story to follow. We are shown early on that they are prepared and willing to kill, but never callously or out of enjoyment, but as a means of achieving their goals. And while we may not feel sympathetic towards them, we can certainly respect them. This theme plays well with Pacino and De Niro's characters, who, while on opposite sides of the law, come to respect the other's commitment and dedication. The acting is fantastic, with Pacino and De Niro's characters contrasting well, with Pacino's very fast and energetic, while um, De Niro's is calm and calculated. The rest of the cast are all great, and the professionalism really shines through in the action sequences. Many films tell us that someone's a great fighter or a great driver, but then we see them in action and we don't get the sense that they have the experience they're made out to. There is none of that here. You can tell De Niro and the others have been very well trained before filming began, and little things like Val Kilmer reloading a rifle with speed and precision speaks towards the characters as professional robbers, as well as to the actors for their dedication to their roles. The score fits really well with the tone of the film, and the sound is fantastic. A gun battle along streets lined by multi-storey office buildings is realistically deafening. And as I understand from behind the scenes footage, most of the, the gunfight sounds had to be replaced because the real sounds were just too darn loud. This is a great film where no one is a black and white hero or villain, and we almost want De Niro and his crew to get away. So does Heat rank as one of your favourite films? And what would you consider the best film for Pacino or De Niro? Let us know in the comments below. And as usual, there is a subscribe button here and some of our previous videos here. So thanks for watching and we will see you next time. Bye. Hey. Shoo. Shoo.